Welcome to this week's The Choice, and this week, well, we are heading straight north. That's right, to Quebec. To Quebec, to Mirage Outfitters with RJ. We're taking RJ on his on first, his first caribou. ever caribou hunt. How yeah. cool is that? This week's lucky logo is Hoyt. Hoyt, hit him where it Hoyt's, baby, and wait till you see what you get this week from everybody. So at the end of the cool. show, watch for that, and we'll tell you what to do with that. Yes. The the show. Yeah, so let's just head up, shall we? Are we taking the buggy? Sure, let's take the buggy. Might have, sh should have left a little sooner. You think so? Just a little bit? Yeah, just a little bit. All right, well, let's get going then, anyways. I see a tar caribou right there. It's a target, honey. It's a target. Oh, that was close. Well, we've had a pretty nice day so far until we get canceled. We're going to be here for a while, I'm hoping, or I'm thinking. Hope not. That's, hopefully, we can get out of here pretty fast, but. It's not what I'm saying. It's not going to happen. We started caribou hunting years ago. RJ was too young to go with us back when the herd was at an all-time high. By the time he was old enough, the herds were in a decline and the opportunities had decreased. Now that the herds are on an upswing, we thought it was a great time to get RJ up there and experience the great Canadian North and what we did so many years ago. I really did not think that this trip would be so hard to put together how it was, but it was actually a lot of fun. Well. Your first flight up north to, to the great north of Quebec here for Caribou. Yeah. And uh, we can't get out. Mm -hmm. get, used, get used to this. This is pretty common. This isn't something new that's like, oh my gosh. No, this is, this is pretty common. But you know what? The big thing, RJ, that you can learn from this is, I mean, patience. Because when you do get out, hopefully, you know, the hunting's gonna be incredible. But you never wanna put this, you put, put your, you know, your safety at risk. So it's hard, I know it's hard, you know what I mean? You, you, you're, you travel all this way and you wanna go hunting, but trust us, this is the way to do it. When you come up to the north, this is what you can expect. Don't get depressed, just live with it and go on. We got up here, uh, the flight in was magnificent, the weather was beautiful, and we, we, the one plane took off, and now the next one can't. RJ's learning firsthand what it takes to go on a great hunting adventure here in Quebec in the north for caribou. When my mom and dad were talking about all the different kind of weather situations and everything that they've had, I didn't think it was probably gonna be stuck, stuck places, but I'll, I'll believe them now. 2.30 in the afternoon. I don't know how late we'll actually fly, but it's gotten much darker out there. We've played this game before. I have a feeling we'll probably sleep here at Mirage Base Camp at the main lodge tonight and fly out in the morning because if it doesn't clear up soon, that other float plane doesn't get back in time. We'll just sit here. Seems like this is a trip of delayed flights. Well, as you can see, we woke to a, a cloudy morning, but it's breaking up, which is awesome. It's still early, and uh, the pilots are looking pretty positive that we're going to get out there. Are you ready? Yeah. You don't want the middle? You'll have more leg room in the middle. You can't just not like the pilots. They know where you are all the time. Without them, you have no clue where you are. They're one of the biggest helps on the entire trip. When you see the final show, you don't even get half of what goes into it to make it actually happen. There's a lot behind everything that we do. Hey, RJ. How many of your buddies have done this? <laughs> what do you say? I think you're probably right, but you none. Man, they're black flies. You like them? No. No. Put a thermos on. You'll be good. Well, we're wasting no time. We got into camp here. RJ's first caribou camp ever. And hopefully it's not his last. Uh, <laughs> because we got here sort of late. We're probably just gonna get camp settled in and get ready for a, a start in the next mo tomorrow morning. Uh, when we finally were looking out scouting, we came up to rocks. There were two pretty nice bulls down about 200 yards out there, I'd say. And right when you see them, you just had that feeling like you have that chance. And we got all set up, we were ready. They're kind of feeding, and they don't stop moving. <laughs> One 
by that white rock. Okay. Your time. He's a quarter away. Nice busy boy. Wait till it turns right. I know. First caribou, congratulations. That was awesome, buddy. That was awesome. That way, brother. <laughs> congratulations, little man. I Thank you. Kind of yeah. on that one. Good job. <laughs> Those caribou's in my way. <laughs> this is beautiful. We're up here with Mirage Adventures. Tourism Quebec has got us up here to show us how strong the herd has got again. We haven't been up here in quite a few years. The herd seemed to be going down, but it's back up at its upswing. They asked us to come up as a family, you, Daddy, and I, to come into come up here to Quebec and see how the herd is doing. And obviously, yeah. it's doing pretty good, wouldn't you think? I, I'd say so. Yeah. We're gonna have to get our and reach out and text Nani and let her know you got your first caribou, huh? Mm-hmm. I think she'll like that. Yes. Well, congratulations. Can I have knuckles so I don't kill myself on the rack? Thank you, okay. buddy. Thank you, Gregory. <laughs> and I'm proud of you. Uh, Thank you. Good job. It's a nice bowl and I'm very happy for you. Thank you. It first is. One. You can ask more than that. I mean, for the, your first one, it's perfect. Yes, it is. One of the things when we're up here hunting caribou in northern Quebec is weather. It is super windy and raining all night long and it's still coming in in waves right now. It's one of the things that you have to understand. No one has control over it and a lot of times that means patience. Yep, weather's no good. So you have to try to find time or find things to do. And Vicky reads, and I was walking back and forth like caged animal. And now, And sometimes it can wane on your patience to the point where you start going stir crazy. So as you're waiting for the bad weather to pass, sometimes it's a good thing to bring a book or do something else in camp instead of sitting there getting cranky about it. Right now we'll wait until it gets better and see what happens. Well, I'd rather be hunting right now, but we're stuck in camp with the weather. And I'm down right, it, the weather is everything here basically. If it's bad weather, it's you can't do anything really. You just gotta sit here. It's pretty boring if you have bad weather, but I get to do homework. <laughs> We, we're see, sort of having a dilemma here. Um, we're actually being smoked out of our cabin. What do you think happened? Too much oil, I think. Mm. I'm not a specialized, but I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will go in another cabin. You coward! <laughs> With us being down for a few days, we were a little worried that we weren't gonna be able to get back out after the caribou. You know, when it's that bad out there, you're not gonna take a chance going out on a boat in the water or anything else. Thank goodness though, at one point, the weather finally broke and it gave us one more short opportunity for to go back out after the caribou one more time for our day. After a quick boat ride across the lake, we hiked up to a vantage point like we normally do to see if we could find them. There were lots of caribou moving around the area. We couldn't initially see any good bulls, but it's just a matter of time before they start showing up. Our guide wanted us to move over to another vantage point, so we took off. You know, it's been said before that you're just not gonna catch up with a walking caribou. So we had to really move to get in a position to get a shot. What do you think? This way? Well, we turn around this way for the wind. Oh, we kind of want to see more yeah, country. Maybe. Okay. You know, you have to remember that you are in a vast, 
wilderness. This is land that goes for miles. And, and you know, trying to stay or get beyond or in front of the caribou, it's a, it's a rough thing physically, mentally, it's demanding. I mean, there's a lot of things going on. And when they do present the shot, you have to be prepared for it. Probably lay down soon. Ready? When they're done feeding, lay down. They'll lay down. Walking through the tundra was a great experience for RJ to have and to witness all of God's country up there. It's just so beautiful. And you know, we're going up after this bull and we're, we're hiking and hiking and trying to get into position for him. And I think he realized, you know what? Yeah, we live in Illinois and we sit in tree stands or ground blind and hunt white-tailed deer quite a bit but there's so much more out there and this caribou hunt really helped him understand there's just so much more out there to go for. I think it also helped him realize that, you know what, you have to wait for the weather to just hopefully hold out and you know what, never give up, never say never, don't give up, just hope and pray and sometime it will work out for you. Now, understanding that, you know, sometimes when you're in a heavy populated area, you know, never shoot at a skyline animal. Where we're at and what we're doing is, you know, the safety is there. You know, you, you just want to get a good steady rest and make sure that, you know, you can get on the animal, have a good steady rest and take the shot. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Good job, bud. Your second caribou up here in Quebec. Yeah. That was cool, huh? Yeah. That's very, very cool, buddy. He's got me. He's right there, I bet. Congratulations, okay. Thank you. Good job. Good job. This is your second caribou. Second, second Quebec Labrador caribou. This is his first first time he's come up caribou hunting with us. We were pretty excited about having you coming up here and the weather, you found out what northern Quebec weather's like. Not too fun. No. Not at all. Why? It's pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah. We've had it's horrible weather. We, you know, we got out the one day, you got your first caribou, and then it started to rain and we had to get back to camp. And then two days we lost totally because of wind and rain, and there's nothing that we could do about it. And then we had the one day that we were supposed to actually have a fly out because of the package that we got for this hunt. And um, it was supposed to be yesterday, and yesterday it was the worst day ever. Huh? Mm -hmm. the 50 mile an hour winds, I mean, it was horrible. The waves were huge, you couldn't go out on a boat. Nowhere. And this today we're supposed to fly back to main camp. And um, they said if the weather's good in the morning, we're gonna leave early and go out and give it one last hurrah. And you're pretty lucky that we did that, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> now we've got two caribou to take home. Lots of meat. Are we going to share any of it? Yeah. Have you ever had caribou meat? Nope. I don't think you have. I think you were too young to remember when we brought caribou meat home before. We need to thank Luke Mirage Adventures, Quebec Tourism, QOF, the Quebec Outfitters Federation. Mm -hmm. And who else? You guys. I know it means a lot to them and me both. But all I know is my mom and dad gave up their hunt for me, and one day I will give it back to them. Well, we're heading back to Mirage. I get to be co-pilot today. I don't think my mom and dad are liking it, but <laughs> never know. You don't get a fly. Shh. Buckle up. Showtime! Yeehaw!
So believe it or not, we're in Montreal. We are trying. We have to get get to O'Hare. From O'Hare, we uh, we load up the truck and we head to the football game. All his pads, all his gears in the truck, and we'll see what happens. Okay, well, we just landed and I'm running to find the truck in the parking lot and I found it and we're trying to hurry. Vicky's got all the luggage, her and RJ, so we're trying to hurry to get loaded up and get him to his eighth grade football game. We're running tight and we'll see what happens. Come on. We're trying. Turn, come on, turn. Turn! Everything has been working out in our favor. The luggage was down early, which never happens. Vicky and RJ got the luggage. I went and got the truck. I ran through the parking lot. We got it all done. And now we have a traffic jam right here in O'Hare. This ain't good. Just think. We were in northern Quebec about 12 hours ago. We got Caribou in the back. We landed about an hour and a half ago, and we are heading to his football game. We're gonna make it. What it's all about you know what i mean to experience that and and you know the history that we've been up there since heck the 80s well, since you the have. 80s on you have. well yes but you know what honestly we've been up to quebec a whole bunch and just it's absolutely wonderful up there and to be able to take that with rj with uh. us and experience it with them and mirage thank you guys so much for having us up there and letting us bring rj with us and quebec outfitters and tours in quebec thank you guys so much for putting that trip together because it means a lot and for us to do it as a family it was great to watch rj experience the tundra on his own i mean it's just it's pretty cool it's we've been blessed we've been yes. blessed for sure if you happen to see the hoyt lucky get logo, serious get hoyt you need to log on to choice tv.com click on lucky logo button and someone's going to win some great stuff from hoyt as well as some of our other manufacturers yes. So let's get going. We yeah. got a long ride I on our buggy. We're gonna start heading up to Quebec right now. Yeah. Thanks for buggy. making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week. You think we can make it there? We could get to that caribou, I bet. Let me hit the turbo. Yeah. <laughs> you threw mud. The power of this motor. Gonna hit a tree. Ah.